One of the main attractions of the Namugongo Matters Shrine is the water which is said to have healing properties. Every June as pilgrims gather for the Matters Day celebrations, many will make a point of stopping by to get some of the holy water and not even a heavy downpour will deter them. I have endured the rain because my faith permitted me to go through the suffering the Matters underwent. I have come to fetch holy water to put in my garden, where I have to continue harvesting. We found ordinance praying for the pilgrims seeking the holy water, and they say many of them are inspired by the stories they have heard of the blessings that come with taking the water. Those are the people who are killing the martyrs. Now after killing, that's the place where they were washing their their tools after using them. So uh, that's the water, now we are calling holy water and mostly the Catholic faith, uh, faithfuls, they usually take that water and now the reason why they are collecting the water is because they want the water to bless their lives. The basis of many people lining up here to fetch this holy water is simply to get a blessing and now that many are yearning for this priceless water, it has since become a profitable venture. Those selling jerrycans to the pilgrims intending to carry water mostly purchase white jerrycans because it is a color associated with holiness and purity. I buy the big jerrycans at 6,000 and sell at 8,000 because of costs such as church food, transport and washing costs. However, Ministry of Health officials have warned pilgrims against drinking the water until sample tests are done. Previous tests for other years indicated that most of our water sources are contaminated around Kampala uh, and its surrounding areas. While there is a danger of diseases being spread through taking this holy water, it doesn't take away the fact that pilgrims continue to believe in the supernatural experiences they have had over the past years. I now hand you over to Ali Mibule who takes us through journalists covering Namugongo matters.